Do you think being a mom and managing a freelance career is all smooth sailing? Think again. But what if I did tell you that grant writing can offer freedom to hire help, everything from grocery shopping to childcare, while still having your own career, fulfillment, and extra income, and then the actual quality time with your kids. Facts, my friends. Now, as a new mom myself, let's explore the real deal about mom grant writers. So you might think it's the serene balance of baby giggles and glowing screams, and in reality, for some, it means sending an email at midnight, hey yo, scheduled send, calls during nap time, and never feeling like you've got enough hours in the day. Or maybe it's the doozy that I experienced literally this morning where I got to film YouTube videos, my nanny canceled, and I kind of got a cold and got to like deal, right? We've got to pivot. But before I scare you away, and the day-to-day -day has definitely got a lot more plot twists, especially if you have littles under age five at home. But what we do have going for us is that we have flexibility and freedom to be there for our kids and our own careers. I had a friend post on Instagram the other day, this poll. She said, would you rather have a long lunch or work through it to get off work early. And I responded and I was like, um, neither because you can do whatever you freaking want with your schedule freedom. Like it doesn't matter. You're not even having to make that choice. That is what I have. But not because I'm just uberly privileged, right? It was by intentional design. And I'm going to show you how you can have it as well. Now, surprise, surprise, I get a ton of moms and several cool dads in the Global Grant Writing Collective. And they joined because they need extra income for their families or to get more schedule freedom so they don't have to do that nine to five again. Take Joel, for instance, right? So he's been the breadwinner for his family, has a big family to support. He was able to leave his job within six months because he was making more as a grant writer. He recently published a fiction book, this passion project he's had because of his new earnings and schedule freedom. Or take my girl Vicky, I'm going to be going to Santa Cruz and meeting her. We're going to go, I'm not going to go surfing, but I'll watch her surf. Anyway, she's been going through these tough times in the beginning, right? Like getting regular clients, steady income, all of that. And now she has it and she has enough time to even start doing things for herself again, which include surfing. Or Danielle, she quit her corporate bank job so she could have more time with her daughter. She built a freelance business and was offered a full-time position at a nonprofit from that. She took it, did that for a while, just had her second baby like a month ago and decided, you know what? I'm going to go back to freelancing after this, after she gives herself a four to five month maternity leave. Now look, freelance grant writing is not like the holy grail here, like the only way to get to freedom. But if you are a mom looking for an extra 5,000 a month or more, and you know that you need a full new career to get out of what you're doing now, then this framework for mompreneur success is for you. Step one, freelance to make $15,000 on the side. So you're gonna do this alongside your current job or if you're a stay-at-home mom during nap time, the weekend, when your partner can watch the little nuggets, whatever. And you're gonna follow the organic networking framework I teach you, which is how you learn how to create opportunities from yourself from thin air without prior experience in grant writing or nonprofits. And with those earnings, you are going to confirm, A, do I even like grant writing? And then assuming you do, it's going to give you resources for step two, which is aggressive time buyback. As a mom, you have to be more aggressive about hiring help than non-parents do. And that's because you are especially time and energy poor typically. It means less money in your pocket up front, but more money in the long run. What this means is that you're gonna use your earnings immediately to reinvest into buying back your time, which if we're honest, is usually getting sucked up in activities related to your home. Can we hire a babysitter to watch the littles for a few hours? You've got uninterrupted deep work time. Can we pay for Instacart to do grocery shopping? Can a high school teenager gas up your car and push your laundry through? Can can someone process your mail for you and pay bills? Like it can happen. I got it happening. Someone that can even help you with meal prep. Maybe somebody cleans your car, runs to the post office for you, shops for you and wraps gifts. Now, if this is kicking up a lot of internal resistance because you're thinking, why would I hire someone to do something I can do? Or aren't I supposed to do those things? Isn't that just life? Look, what would my family think? I can't afford that. If you got any of those beliefs and they're a little prickly, I want you to know that's normal. And I want you to explore this because your unlock in life means that you have to release doing things that don't actually bring you joy or money. An example of this is Alexa Swenson. She landed a huge contract right when her first baby was born, basically writing grants for tribes here in the interior of Alaska. And she had to find somebody to subcontract that work stat because she just couldn't, right? She's freshly postpartum. In that year, 
she still made 50,000 in revenue despite only working 10 hours a week. I loved Alexis's writing so much that I actually hired her to write some blog posts for us. You'll definitely want to check out the satire piece she wrote about being a mom grant writer down below. Anyway, she told me in the weekly sync that she was spending a little bit of time every day trying to clean one room in her house. On top of raising her little baby who was not sleeping very well at all, being super fatigued with her second pregnancy. I ended up hiring and paying for a house cleaner for her. Cause I knew she wasn't gonna use that money to pay for it herself. I had to show her it was possible. It was like $200 a month, totally worth it. Cleaned her house. And then Alexis had more energy and time to actually use her talents in writing instead of using them like scrubbing her bathroom sink, right? That's an example of how you can leverage help more inexpensively. That $200 bought her I don't know, $2,500 worth of time writing blog posts, like huge ROI, right? It allows you to preserve your energy for your family or your client work that actually fires you up. That leads me to step three of the framework, which is to charge more. Alrighty, mama, we're gonna have some real talk. If you do not charge enough, you are gonna work yourself to a pulp. You're gonna lose yourself along the way. And if you're starting this career alongside your current full-time job with family responsibilities, it can, and often has to be done that way because of finances, but it's not actually sustainable. The only way you can do this to like get through this is you have to see a light at the end of the tunnel. You have to create momentum and true financial freedom. And the only way to do that is to charge appropriately for your service, which I advise you on. So listen to me on the numbers I give you. Step four is embracing seasons. So we often say we want more work-life balance, but have you ever even thought about what that even sounds like? Balance? That's like a teeter-totter or like, being at the gym and you're doing those like balancing exercises or being on a tightrope, like that sounds stressful. So instead, what I recommend for moms is leaning into seasons. There are seasons where you're gonna dig in deep. You're gonna roll up your sleeves, right? You're gonna, you're gonna really go for it, right? And then there are gonna be other seasons where you celebrate yourself and you slow down. Soul care is a core value here at Learn Grant Writing, and we will be paying especially close attention to you as a mom to make sure you're also taking care of yourself in the pursuit of your dreams. Step five, comparison is the thief of joy, especially if you've got littles under age five. Look, I've seen it because I got tons of moms and lots of dads. You will stunt your own joy and satisfaction if you compare yourself to others in the collective that either don't have kids or their kids are older, whatever. The challenge you have to overcome is this battle between your heart and your mind. And your logical side is gonna tell you this isn't the right time, or I should focus on my family, or I just need to stick with this crappy job because it provides health insurance. Whatever it is that you're telling yourself to try and repress your dreams and that message that was placed on your heart so that you are not allowing yourself to step into an expanded version of yourself. Look, the version where you are not only a super duper mom, but you're also acknowledging the other sides of you, where you're making a difference in your community and you're getting paid well for it, that's what I'm here for. If exploring grant writing and building a life you love has been been placed on your heart. It ain't going anywhere. Okay. You can depress it. You can ignore it. You can blow years trying not to think about it, but it's going to circle back until you give this an honest go. And I'm here to tell you that I'm going to support you. The entire collective community and the Learn Grant Writing team will support you. We're going to show you how you can build momentum on five hours a week of effort. I looked high and I looked low in our community for this one post and I couldn't quite find it, but I had to share it with you. So there's this woman, mom of 11 kids, no joke. And she said, never in her wildest dreams did she think, quote, little old me could ever get paid for this work I've always volunteered doing. And I grabbed a few other wins, truly a micro selection of the wins posted every week. You can pause the video if you wanna look at them and read them. But essentially, they're doing it. They got themselves to that first 15,000 as a new grant writer while also being a mom or a dad. Take like Abigail here, big shout out. She's been doing this as a homeschool mom and she recently passed her break even point for investing in the collective. And now it's all positive returns from here. Or Jordan, total hero single mom homeschooling her little one too which I'm just like mind blown and she's about to embark on a dream of her life which is she bought an RV she's going to be traveling with it while she grows her grant consulting business totally bucking the cultural norms of what a woman can and can't do as a mom and in business now again this isn't just for moms we got a number of really cool dads too right like Joel here who's celebrating another contract after a tough patch he had that we helped coach him through but check out the unicorn spotlights in the description below and you can get an idea of like really what that journey looks like from their words now to sum it up being a parent and a grant writer it's one of the most high leverage ways you can make a difference and get paid to do so I'm gonna link up the next video from Vicky on exactly how grant writing changed her life as a mom enjoy it